welcome to today's program. Sure you had a great week. Do you have your writing materials with you? Your jotters, your pen or pencils, and of course your Bibles, very important. Okay, while we settle down, let's say a word of prayer and invite Jesus into today's program. Hands together, eyes closed and heads bowed. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. Thank you for the past week. Thank you for the things we have learned in this month. As we sit to listen to you today, we pray that everything we'll hear today will be of great benefit to us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. If you don't have your writing materials with you, quickly get them as we dance and worship the Most High God.
beautiful. I enjoyed that session. I'm glad you did too. Our lesson for today is from the word holy. Over the past few weeks, we've been talking about our bodies being the temple of God. One major attribute of having our bodies as a temple of God is to be holy. God expects us to be holy. Our Bible text is taken from Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 and there it explains to us that without holiness we can't see God. How many of you want to see Jesus? Oh I do! Exactly and for us to be able to see Jesus we have to live holy lives. Listen friends you can't live a holy life by yourself. You have to invite the Holy Spirit to help you live a holy life. How do you live a holy life? One, you live a life without sin. I can hear some of you asking, is that possible? Oh, of course it is. With the help of the Holy Spirit, you can do it by yourself. So to live a holy life, one, you have to live a life without sin. You don't tell lies. You don't take what does not belong to you. You don't fight. And you can only do these things with the help of the Holy Spirit. Two, you have to want to be like Jesus every day. So every time you want to do something, ask yourself, what will Jesus do? Will Jesus say this? And if in your heart of hearts, the answer is no, then you know that is Jesus helping you to be more like him every day. And three, you have to have a relationship with God. That means you have to talk to him every day. You have to sing to him every day. You have to read his words every day. And what is that? That is having a devotion. And by having a devotion every day, you are building your relationship with God. And guess what? When you do these three things, that is, live a life without sin, be like Jesus, and develop a relationship with God, He helps you to become holy just the way He wants you to be. Have you learned anything today? Oh, you have. I'm glad you have. Our memory verse for this month is taken from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 to 20. And what does it say? You should know that your body is a temple for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is in you and you have received the Holy Spirit from God. You do not own yourselves. You were bought by God for a prize. So honor God with your bodies. It was beautiful having you there. And I'm sure I'll see you real soon again on Royal Children's Hub. Have a beautiful week ahead. Bye, friends. Hello, children. Once again, we have learned another thing today that the Holy Spirit is our helper. He helps us do the right things if, and helps us to please God and obey God at all times. Would you like to do the right things? Would you like to obey God at all times and be God's friend? If you like to do that, I want you to say this prayer with me. Oh, you have to be the friend of Jesus to do it. You cannot get the help of the Holy Spirit without being his friend. So let's put our hands together and say this after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I believe that you are the son of God and that you came into this world to die for my sins and that you rose again on the third day. I invite you into my heart. Come and be my Lord and Savior and help me by your spirit to always obey God and do the right things in Jesus' name. Amen. That is it, children. Welcome to the help of the Holy Spirit. From today, you begin to enjoy the help of the Holy Spirit and see yourself doing the right things, obeying God like never before and doing the right things at all times because the Holy Spirit is by you to help you do so. God bless you. Don't you ever forget your royalties. See you next time. Bye-bye.
Sisu 